Good morning. Happy Monday. So yesterday, there was a lot of excitement. People's emotions were all over the place. Joe Biden announced that he will not seek re-election and endorsed Kamala Harris. And once that news settled in, the left started to mobilize and galvanize in support of Kamala Harris. It was exciting to see the excitement all over social media for a possible first black woman president. Many prominent Democrats have come out and already have endorsed Kamala Harris. Jasmine Crockett has come out. AOC has come out. Gavin Newsom has come out to endorse um, Kamala Harris. Um, Pete Buttigieg, I believe, has come out to endorse Kamala Harris. Several Democratic governors across the, the, the states has come out to endorse Kamala Harris. But I've been watching after going live yesterday and listening to what Roland Martin had to say about Nancy Pelosi, the top elite Democrat folks, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Hakeem Jeffries, um, Barack Obama. I've been watching and we know that Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are corporate Democrats, meaning they will be the voice for corporations versus the voice for voters. So I've been sitting and watching. Roland Martin said that it was believed that the reason why the Democrat elites were attacking Joe Biden and wanting Joe Biden to step down, it's because Joe Biden refused to drop Kamala Harris. And I believe Roland Martin. With all of the people who have come out to endorse Kamala Harris, you know who has not come out to endorse Kamala Harris? That would be Hakeem Jeffries. That would be Chuck Schumer. That would be Nancy Pelosi. I have not seen them post any support in regards to a Kamala Harris 2024 presidential campaign. I'm saying this to say that I support Kamala Harris. I endorse Kamala Harris. If she's on the ticket, I will be voting for Kamala Harris. As a matter of fact, today, I will be making a donation to Kamala Harris's presidential campaign. But I want us to recognize who the elite are when it comes to the Democrat Party. And I want us to be prepared if Kamala Harris does not end up being the presidential nominee. Okay? Because that's going to sting for a lot of people out there. And yet, we've got to push through that and remember the mission. Stay focused.